I thought I would create a YouTube channel showing people who are going through the same thing that I am going through, that they are not alone. I am in recovery and I am on Suboxone and I am not ashamed of it. Come along with me and let me show you what it's like to be someone who is on a medication that helps them stay clean also see what it's like to come off of this medication see what it's like to raise your children while on this medication and to also thank you the lord come and join me make sure you subscribe turn on those post notifications give me a big thumbs up and comment down below videos you'd like to see in the future come and get ready with me and check out my morning routine today Hey guys and welcome, welcome. This is going to be my morning routine. I wanted to go ahead and film this so you guys see what I do in the morning time when I'm not going through depression. Um, when I'm going through depression, it's kind of hard to even get out of bed some days. Um, but today I made myself get up and made myself clean the house and I'm getting ready now. I've done and gave the baby a bath, got him ready. I'm going to get ready then we're going to go outside and have some fun for a while. Um, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Uh, welcome to my first video. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Turn on those post notifications. That way you're notified anytime I upload a video. Um, I'm going to do a few inf informative videos on about Suboxone. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, guys. I'm not going to, you know, say Suboxone's all amazing and everybody should do it because that's not true. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ready for the day. So, um, right now I'm going to pluck these crazy eyebrows because I hadn't plucked them in forever. My legs are so hairy, guys, I look like Bigfoot. I ain't even playing. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me on everything. Um, or you're going to get to see me take my medications for the day. You're going to get to see just about everything. And what it's like to really be in recovery, struggling with depression, anxiety, COVID, this COVID shit, let me tell you, got me all messed up, all messed up, I think it's got everybody messed up, you know, the suicide rate has went up so bad that, I mean, it's crazy how much the suicide rate has spiked, because those of us with depression, you know, we stay in a house for a while, and my eyebrows are just so messed up, but, but we stay in a house for a long time, we tend to get very, very depressed, um, because there's only so many things you can do to occupy your mind while you're at home, and when you are going through recovery and depression and things, you know, you have to have a, it's good to have a hobby that replaces those times of when you would use and things of this, that such. So when you do go, can't do those things, it makes it really hard to stay clean and to not be depressed, you know? Like my husband, he had his own business. Um, you know, we're, we're going through separation and all that, but you know, that's a whole nother story. But he had his own business he done, like, yard work, gardening, tree work, things like that. Um, and then I had my own business. Um, I made custom-made t-shirts, mugs, just about anything you can think of. Um, I done. And then we also made, um, this might sound crazy to people who don't have reptiles, but we had reptiles. We had bearded dragons. Um, we had geckos and chameleons. Um, now we only have geckos. We have a leopard and a crested gecko, but we made furniture for them. Um, and yes... Reptiles use furniture. Um, so we were like just doing and dabbling in a lot of things. Um, and COVID basically just put a halt to everything. We lost all, both of our businesses. We're now on unemployment. Um, because no one wants to hire. Because the rate of this is going right back up. So. And you know, when you are self-employed and you get unemployment, you get $150 a week. So I get, with Texas taken out, I get $350 every two weeks. 
that's not taking care of my family. When you got to pay rent, you got to pay an electric bill, you got to pay a water bill, you got to pay your TV, you got to pay for that Wi Fi because your kids got to have it to do their school. And like, it's just, oh my gosh. And a lot of us are struggling right now, and a lot of us are feeling like we just don't know what to do at this point. So it's been rough. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my makeup routine. I always do um, a little anti-wrinkle moisturizer. I don't do a lot because my face is oily. Don't get me wrong. I do not put on makeup every day. That's not me. I'm a t-shirt and jeans and put my hair up in a bun kind of person. You know what I mean? I always wash my sponge out with antibacterial soap um, before I use it. My daughter uses it as well. Um, but, like, I'm not saying my daughter's nasty or anything, but I wash it out with antibacterial soap because it's just, I don't know, makes me feel cleaner, I guess, you know. And she tends to get crap all over it, like, eyeliner and stuff, so. This is a brightening and good elixir that I actually got in my Ipsy bag, which I get the, um, biggest one, the five full-size products every month. Absolutely love Ipsy. Guys, go sign up for Ipsy. It is amazing. $20 a month, you get five full-size products that usually would cost you about $100 for $20 a month. And it usually keeps me, like, thin. I might have to go out and buy some concealer or something once in a while, which I have none of. Then I just realized, luckily, my foundation I use doubles as a concealer. So it's Foera. And I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. But I found this on Facebook, guys. Let me just... Okay, so that's Foera. And the coverage is amazing. It matches my skin color. And I like to get... They have a two-for-one deal that you can get. Um, and I like to get one that's lighter to use as my concealer. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, but I love this foundation. It is incredible. And my daughter's about just used it all, too. So, yeah. But look at that coverage. Is that not incredible? Alright, so I have my foundation on. It's still a little wet, but I cannot stand all this, like, glow. It does leave a bright glow. and No. Um, so I actually take a translucent powder and go over it. But guess what? You guys want to guess? Hmm? Do you want to guess why I can't do that? Yes, you're right. Because my daughter used it all. That's right. Um, so, I'm going to use my, just a tiny bit of my regular powder to go over this and kind of dull it out um, and use it as a setting powder. Got to get it on them eyes. Now, see how much better that is? Dull that brightness out. Alright, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. I got this actually in my Ipsy bag as well. It's, um, cannot pronounce it. Tristique. Alright. It's amazing. I love it. So, it's got this on one side and then it's got your brush on the other side and you know I don't do it a whole lot I don't and you know older ladies the ones like me who have wrinkles like here and here and here don't use a lot of powder because it's gonna make those wrinkles show a lot more okay all right so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow all right so I'm gonna go with a more natural look today um I actually got this in my Ipsy as well it's um, Shana B, and this is the palette I got. Um, it just has two colors in it. But I love the neutral colors. I love the, um, this is the Burgundy Bar. It's a Maybelline palette, and I absolutely love it. I also love the greens. Um, just things that go with my eyes. I also do wear contacts sometimes um, so that I can wear different colors, but with brown eyes, you want to stay with more neutrals, more earth tones. That way you kind of don't look like, ugh, blue with brown eyes. No, 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 So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going with today. All right, so I got my eyeshadow done, got my eyeliner on, and I am getting my mascara on. I use a 
quite a few different mascaras. I use one that extends my lashes. I use one that thickens my lashes. Um, I don't use fake lashes. They uh, did there for a quick minute. Uh, but it was just... Oh, it was just too aggravating. So, yeah. I have no, like, real lashes at all. They're really thin, and I hate them. Um, so I have to use several mascaras to make them actually look like I've got lashes, so. I can't find one mascara that does everything. I've tried, um, but I'm not, also not going to pay $30 for a damn mascara. So there's my mascara and my eyeshadow. I did put a little more, um, concealer underneath my eyes to get any fall off that may have fell but there you go there's that i don't do wings i oh, don't like them not me um for the for you that's good you know i always use my tail that i've got on i don't know if you guys can see but to clean my brushes off yeah i know all right so now i'm going to do um my powder which i try not to use a lot and the palette i use is nomad um sydney Bothers, I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's palette. Blend that out really good so it all blends in together. The towel's falling off. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the contour again. Pull off the brush and then I go straight down the sides of my nose just to kind of give it a straight skinny look and I love the look it gives my nose and I put just a little tiny there to kind of connect that all right take the brush and blend it out all right so next I do my let me do this a little bit more. All right, so now I do my blush. Fit Me from Maybelline. I love this blush. Rose. Rose Claire. Love it. All right, so I just put them on a brush. Tap it off. Smile. I'm going to take my palette again. And I'm going to get my highlight there. It's called Balmoral Beach. Get that fall off, and then I'm gonna go right up. Woo! My makeup about fell off. I'm gonna go right above my blush there, center of my forehead, between my eyebrows, down the center of my nose, the tip of my nose, right here, and the center of my chin. Chin, 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 chin. <laughs> Alright, so then, I do my lipstick. I like to use darker colors because where my teeth are jacked up. I hate my teeth. I want to get them done so bad, guys. So bad. You just don't even know. Like, it makes me feel terrible about myself. My teeth do. And I hate feeling that. I hate that feeling. It's so awful to feel that way about yourself. Alright. I think I'm going to use this. We'll try it and see. Okay. You want to kind of make sure that your eyeshadow and your lips kind of look good together. And then I just tend to kind of go around there. Fix it with my fingers. That's my makeup. Alright. So after I get everything done, I always take a tiny bit of powder. Not much. Just a tiny bit. Shake that off. And I just go over the whole face and blend everything in, especially with my neck. You don't want to have no lines. Right? What a difference, right? Alright, so, after my makeup's done, then obviously I gotta do my hair, so I'm gonna do it real quick and I'll be right back. So quickly, I wanted to come on here while I'm brushing my hair. Um, guys, Suboxone does make your hair fall out. That is a side effect of Suboxone. 
And I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about when I'm brushing my hair because it gets really bad. Um, which, I mean, a lot of it's due to stress as well. But, it's also due to my medication. Alright, so I'm just going to show you. I've got hair all over my arm here. You can't really see it on the camera. But, this brush I just cleaned out. Look at this. It's terrible, guys. And I know a lot of it's woo. Oops. I know a lot of it is from stress and depression and all that, but it is also a side effect of some boxing that I wanted you guys to be aware of. Okay. All right, guys. So we can't cut that part out because my towel fell off. But um, so basically, I just put my hair up in a bun, and I'm going to take a few. These are the same color as my hair, bobby pins, and just pin the pieces that I feel kind of back into my bun so there it is there's my bun my makeup now i'm gonna get dressed Whew, this is taking a long time all right guys so i'm ready and this is my outfit for today um these are my american eagle jeans my walmart boots and my shirt from kato's um now i'm going to take my medication and we're going to get the baby ready and then we're going to go outside for a little while all right guys so i don't take my medication around my son um, so he's standing here, so I, basically I'm just going to show you what I take, and, um, so I'm prescribed two 8 milligram Suboxins a day, but I don't take it all at once, um, I take a half at a time, so here's my half, okay, alright, alright, so he went in his bedroom, so we can do this, alright, and I'm prescribed three 600 milligram gabapentin a day for my bipolar to keep my moods evened out. And so before I go to any kind of activity, um, I always take my medication. Um, first I take my gaba pen. And I do that because when you take your suboxone, you don't want any, you don't want to drink, smoke, eat, or anything for 20 minutes afterwards. So I take a half of one of my suboxins. And I'll show you what a whole one looks like, but there's various kinds, guys. So here's the Suboxone. And so I break that in half, and I take it four times a day because I'm prescribed two. So I take uh, four quarters a day. And so I take the half of Suboxone. Lift up my tongue and place it underneath my tongue. Good timing because the baby came back. I just don't want to take my medication in front of my kids. I don't know that's something, you know, with me. I just don't want to do. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I don't put my contacts in, guys. What do you think? All right, so let's get the baby ready and let's go outside and have some fun. All right, guys, we're ready to go outside. Let's go have some fun. All the while, guys, my medication is still dissolving under my tongue. So I can do whatever until it's gone. Um, just don't eat, drink, or smoke, remember, okay? Alright guys, so we're outside having fun. <laughs> this is my home. For now, maybe. So yeah. This is my car. Um, we had to get what we could afford. Um, uh, because my husband has raked two freaking cars in two and a half years. No dog! No, 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 no. The dog's jumping on the baby. Yeah. Say, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, boo-boo. We're not going down the road. He thinks we're walking down the road because we usually walk down the road and back. Baby, baby, baby. Be oh, watch out, baby. Be careful. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> So it's been about, mm, I'd say a good 45 minutes since I've took my medication. And as you can see, I'm not the least bit uh, affected by my medication. It does not at all make me high or stoned or anything like that. It just makes me normal. I'm hoping I'm not going to be someone who has to take this medication their whole life. There are those who will have to take this medication the rest of their life um, but I'm hoping to here soon start detoxing from Suboxone 
Um, my doctor won't let me start, start detoxing until I get my anxiety and depression under control. And considering the circumstances of how bad my depression has been, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit longer. But I'm hoping to do it soon. All right, so I guess that's all for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. We're going to go walk in and have a little more fun and then eat some supper. But my next video is going to be a little info on Suboxone, um, what it is, what it does. Um, just all the info you would need if you were thinking of getting on Suboxone um, or if you know someone who may need to be on Suboxone. Um, I'm always here for your guys' questions. I'm always here if you need someone to talk to or just someone to listen. Uh, make sure you comment below if there's any more videos about Suboxone or any questions that you have. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video and the channel. Let's get the word out there. Um, me in recovery and just raw and uncut. And you're going to see, you know, what it's like to be a mama and during COVID be in recovery, um, dealing with depression, anxiety, and a whole bunch of other issues. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. You guys have a wonderful day. I love all of you guys.